food stamp program has been helping Americans fight hunger for over 75 years. It used to be called the food stamp program, as most of y'all know, but now it is SNAP, which is Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. That's the same thing, they just changed the name. I've done extensive research from accredited sources and have many friends in the program myself. According to feedingamerica.org, in 2013, almost 50 million Americans lived in food insecure households, which means you don't have the money already without help to buy the food that you need most of the time. The food stamp program helps these hungry people eat so they can survive. The simple truth is that this program is necessary for many of our friends and families to stay alive. There are many advantages of this program. Those in need are fed weekly $29. Now it's not a whole bunch of money, but they do get about $29 loaded onto their car that they can use at various places for food. This program has been in effect for over 75 years, like I said, so it has been improving over the years. It's got a lot of history behind it. It's not something that just started. It's been around, it's gonna be around. And it is available to men, women, children, the elderly, and students age 18 to 49. It helps disabled people as well, so it helps just a ton of people. There are some disadvantages, just like with anything else, some food and drink choices are fatty and high in sugars that you can get on the program. Not everything is apples and oranges and chicken. It doesn't allow the purchase of hot or already prepared foods, like a rotisserie chicken that's already cooked, or if you go to Walmart and you get like one of those sandwiches in the package, you can't get one of those. So if you don't have an oven or a microwave or a stove, a way to heat these things up, then you have to get something that is like bologna or bread. Now, the percentage of those committing fraud is less than one half of one percent. So even though there are some people that don't really need food stamps or that are buying things illegally with them through the manufacturers, the fraud percentage is almost nothing compared to all people that are actually being helped. There is a social stigma to the food stamp program. A lot of people look down on those receiving food stamps. and and then you know that they're there for a free ride, they're just sitting at home, not doing anything, getting help from the government, which is true sometimes. But a lot of these people are working two or three jobs, barely sleeping at all just to provide for their family and still on food stamps because they don't make enough money, which is under $20,000 a year. Uh, not all retailers accept food stamps. So some of those, on, some of those people on food stamps are already don't have a lot of money have to travel further just to find a place where they can use their government, governmental assistance. And in 2013, the House of Representatives approved a bill to reduce SNAP funding by $39 billion over the next 10 years. So that cuts out uh, 4 million people already on the program instantly. All right. Uh, this just shows the percentage of households who are asking for food assistance who are applying for it or trying to get it and this is the percentage out of those that are actually getting it. Um, only half of the people who are eligible actually receive them and as you can see right there that in order to even become eligible you have to earn less than twenty thousand dollars for a family of three people all together so mother and father less than $20,000 if you don't have one other person. And let me break that down for you a second. That would mean that for the whole family, you're bringing in $1,647 a month. That's $54 a day altogether. But if you split that up, and it's only three people, that's $18 a day per person. And that's before you factor in, you know they have to pay for rent, their car, their transportation, their medical bills, their tool trees, everything else that they have less than $18 a day per person. These people really need food stamps. It is a necessary program. Uh, there are many benefits of the program. It provides educational materials that help promote a healthy lifestyle and help keep people active and healthy. <coughs> For every $1 spent in food stamps, an extra $1.80 is generated towards the American economy, which is stimulating our economy um, just help getting us out of debt, 
There's also a food stamp pilot program, which is a program within the program that is eligible for some people. It allows those who make healthy choices on their stamp program to get a credit back. And they get extra money so they can buy more food, and then they can continue buying healthy food. And according to the Census Bureau, food stamps helped over 4 million Americans out of poverty just in 2012, and it rises every single year. So it's continuously helping people better themselves. Food stamps can reduce the risk of becoming overweight by up to 68% as well. In 2012, more than 65 million Americans received food stamps for at least one month. And, oh, and that's over a fifth of the entire population. So it's not just the people that you don't see that are begging for change that are, you know, it's a lot of people. A lot of people you all probably know are on food stamps. Every $1 billion food stamps generates 3,300 farm jobs, which again is stimulating the economy, helping people get jobs, just doing good things for people all around the country and all aspects of life. And it increases children's intake of necessary vitamins and minerals, such as iron, zinc, vitamin A, a whole bunch of stuff that can help reduce the risk of obesity, diabetes, just because a lot of the things are healthy foods and because they're having to spend less. Sometimes they can't afford to get some of the things that are fatty. Now, a lot of things that are fatty they can get, like chips you can get on there. But they, that's why the pilot program is in place, so that hopefully it encourages them to make healthier choices. In conclusion, the SNAP program is an important link in the chain that is helping us break from hunger. We need to fight to keep this program alive. If it dies, as will many Americans, will it be someone you know? President Obama got food stamps as a kid, and now he's President of the United States. So, that just goes to show you that you can be somebody or nobody, help is a good thing, you can still be somebody later. Yeah.